Imagine a wave at the moment it realizes it is the ocean. In motion, impelled by the full force of its journey and the pull of land where it will absorb into the sand and become something new. In motion, a wave, energy from below the surface, like the pain of race-based hate, cresting and about to break. It is inevitable, past and present, moving and still, discreet, and part of something larger still, at peace, and part of nothing more important than the volatile will of the planet. We are wading in that water, ready to ride the wave, an ocean of history present, reaching, healing, current. Imagine an American at the moment she realizes she is a bridge. She extends her arms like the wings of time, the past and the future at her fingertips, an American making access possible. She knows that the principles she's been taught to believe in are not in and of themselves inevitable. That America is a verb. It is the work in between the lofty words and a collective destiny. He walks the landscape of the country and realizes he is the culture in the breach, that America is the intention of the past, walking an undreamt path. She dreams a future, her wingspan arches beyond our cultural memory's reach, her body is the bridge, his back is the brick, is the wood, is the path underfoot, safely promising a new shore for anyone brave or sure. Home of the brave, what wave do we ride to heal from the legacy of race? Who builds the bridge over this particular body of troubled water? Who among us dreams like Mingus, America the baseline? We walk across its streets like scales moving musically, guided by the moral holy grail, racial healing, e pluribus cultural unity. Let freedom ringing be the soundtrack, America. Let's heal now. Imagine an athlete called to race, about to take the first step has run the course in her head, has the muscle to get there, is a bursting birthright of sinew and mandate and intellect, looks down towards his chest, feels the beat of his heart pounding like savannah prey under threat. Let's race, she says, takes off from Selma, round Chicago, touches Battle Creek, dives down into Richmond, makes a great leap to Alaska, hits his stride in LA, intent to keep pace with those who run this course before. This is a race to honor all the past victories won and also to honor that America is not done. A race coming in waves. A race to recognize our common humanity and acknowledge the truth of past wrongs. Not as simple as black and white, cut and dry. A race to mobilize, to be transformed. Imagine a wave of Americans as a human human bridge to racial healing. As the mortar of forgiveness, metal and sandalwood, the alloy and the ally, as the compound forged in the breach between American premise and a future not yet promised. Imagine a bridge built to carry the promise to land. Today, we embody that pathway as best as we can. Native tongue, a nation of immigrants, pain not forgotten, a nation of tobacco and indigo, red rice and cotton, a nation of manzanar and trail of tears, a nation equipped to heal at the scale of its history, anticipates more tomorrows than yesterdays. We get there by staring the future in its unetched form and making it as we wish. We give the future its face by work, by faith. We the healers, accepting all the work of all those who labored before us. We the healers join the motion in progress, the movement 
of progress coming in waves, rebuild the bridge between racism's legacy and the destiny of cultural equity. The healing future begins today. <laughs>